YouTube, what it do? It's your boy Ken Christian the Flesh. You already know the vibe. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are having a good week. Make sure you guys go back and check out all the feudal reactions if you have not already. I hope you guys enjoy that. And I hope you guys enjoyed my boy Steward's interview. Make sure you guys go check that out too. We had a great time with it. Answered a lot of questions. The community loved it. And I'm glad that y'all got to hear from my boy Steward. All right. So, like I did for Sacred Heart, we have the funeral tier list right here. And uh, shout out to my boy, uh, shout out to my boy Slight on twitter for making this tier list for me you guys can see we got tracks 1 through 16 and the tiers peak amazing great good and all right yes i changed it from from whatever it was to all right i you know i we can keep it there i mean great good all right it's hard it's gonna be hard to distinguish but there's no bad song on this album you guys know how this album you know already sounds you guys got your own thoughts and all opinions on this so with that being said do not get on my ass for the that i want to put for my tier list all right all things objective sue me all right i'm gonna put things on here that y'all may not like and that's cool you guys got your own tier list i got my own tier list all right you got tracks one through 16 we're gonna go from back to front so we're gonna start with intuition and end off with funeral all right, and without further ado, let's get into it. All right, track uh, track 16, Intuition. Let's, uh, let's, let's give it a look. I keep scrolling through photos. Scroll, scroll, I just keep on scrolling. I wake up with a new mind. Like, fuck it, I'ma be solo. Fuck it, I'ma be solo. Walk around looking paranoid, cause I've been moving around dolo. And all she needed was a paragraph from under her about the O. Ain't no point in reminiscing. Look, bro, I like, I like intuition, bro. I like intuition. It's nice for an outro. I feel like fight or flight could have been, you know, the outro too. But I ain't got a problem with intuition. It's not the best outro compared to Maniac and So Sick. Intuition is a great song, though. Smooth song, you know, beautiful outro. Just not up there with the rest of them. We're going to say, hey, 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 intuition is a great song. Intuition is a great song. Yeah, track number 15, fight or flight. <laughs> I love this song, bro. I'm gonna give you the buck. I love this song right here, bro. It's just, it's just so, you know. What I'm saying? And and it's, it's such a smooth song, bro. Just, just listen to it and shout out my boys to you. You produced it, so, you know. And this was, this was the last track added to the album, um, last minute switch up. So, yeah. Without further ado, uh, let's give it a listen. Why is it sad, girl, really, if you had me that much, then maybe you should go and say, 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 say. Like, when it all the small shit, that'll bitch you all start to feel inflated. The mind trick started feeling too invasive. My chick switching at the location. I'm just blacked out, start gazing. My shit fucking at the rotation. Pop up past, now we in the maze. Really been feeling like we getting I'm over. I laid in the air, I'm now crow -ass. When I look in the mirror, I see the flash. Nigga that I haven't seen, I don't got a face. I got a list full of niggas talking under the... This is that beautiful song, bro. I love this song, man. I love this song. Beautiful song. Beautiful chill song. Honestly, bro, it's a great song. It's not amazing. It's a great song, though. It is a great song. A great second to last song. A great beautiful reminder. When you look in the mirror, you, you that no debate. Track number 14, Going Stuck. I've been lost in the man. Going around, going around, keep going around. I call your phone, you don't reply, you leave me up. Keep going around, going around, keep going around. I feel me so keep playing, stop, and I just hit replay. And I keep going around, going around, stop. Have a lot of good memories with this song. Unfortunately, it did leak, but yeah, it's, it's a beautiful song. Uh, I wish it didn't leak, though. That's the only thing. I mean, you know, man's wish it didn't leak, but you know, it is what it is. It's a great song, in my opinion. So we're going to throw that in the great tier as well. All right. Track number 13, You Forgot About Me. Lil Ro. Track, no, no, listen. Now, You Forgot About Me has a verse on it that I love right here. Run that zip, run that zip. Just let me know if you're feeling the same. It's been a bitch, GPS 18, I'm on go. Here you go again, mister, I don't care and I don't know. I jumped out of limb and asked you where you at, I can't pretend. Let's be fucking real, I'm feeling still alive, we can't be friends, man. I don't get it, babe. I don't want to ride like you ain't never love me. Bro, this is such a different type of DC song and I love it, bro. It's When I first heard it in the live listening party, I was like, whoa. Minute. Like, bro, the R&B shit is so different, bro. I was just like, wait a minute. <laughs> what we doing, DC? I love it, bro. Again, it's a great song. We're not going to put in amazing, but it is a great song. A great type of flow switch up, bro. DC hasn't dropped a song like that. I can't remember. 
You know what I'm saying? I ain't have nothing like that on my own worst enemy. Different flows and different feelings we get in this album are amazing and it's such a different touch. You Forgot About Me is a great song, a great addition to this album. Now we go back to one of my favorite intros I've ever heard in my life. And every time I hear it, ah, ha, ha, it used to be me. Y'all saw how I reacted when I heard this song in a lot of listening party, bro. <laughs> Oh my goodness, bro. Oh my goodness, that out the intro, bro. That's one of the best intros I've heard, bro. Shout out to my boy Sio. He worked on that as well, bro. That is, oh, I love that song. It used to be, it is, it, is an, it, 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 yeah. mm, it is an amazing song. All right, used to be, it's an amazing song. I'm putting that up there in the amazing tier. Hey, man, I'll be the top of the amazing tier for right now, but that's me personally. And I love the switch up from the song we're about to go to, which I can't play on here, so we're just gonna go ahead and just, you know, just gonna go ahead and just put it, you know, where I think it should be. I can't put it, I can't play it because of copyright, for some reason working on Don just wipes out everything that I put on YouTube, so I don't know what the problem is with that. But working on dying, I'll give it a listen. I'll give it a listen on some Fantano shit, and I will just place it where I place it. So let's give it a listen. Okay. All right. Now, working on dying is definitely some hard shit. Say what you want. Sue me. But working on dying is hard. We'll say this. It does not fit this album in any way, shape, or form. But it is a great way to keep you on your toes. You know, you, you don't expect to go from some soft shit like Friends to working on dying to some upbeat funk shit like it used to be me. You don't expect it. Keeps you on your toes. I guarantee you, when I'm on a Misfix boxing card in 2024, whatever, bruh, I'm walking out to working on dying with DC right beside me, cause this shit is a walkout song, like a boxing. It's a hard song. It's a great song. It's not amazing. It's a great song. There's no hard tier, but if there had to be a hard tier, i put it in great. Track number 10, friends. This sad ass song, bro. Bro, this song, this song makes you like, listen, just listen, just listen to friends, bro. This song hits, bro. This song, it, it hits since, since the night the album dropped. Like, on the, the night the album dropped, I was like, this is sad ass. I don't know, bro. This is, I love this song, bro. I play it on the regular, though. I do play it on the regular. But it's a weird switch up, because, you know, you go from the first half when it's like on some chill shit to some sad shit. It definitely plays with the emotion. It definitely does what it's supposed to do. You piece of shit, DC. It works. But <laughs> it's a great song. Like, it's, a, it's so different. I'm putting it in the amazing tier. Friends is an amazing song, bro. I love that song. Does exactly what it's supposed to do. Now, 12 a.m. is hard. Matter of fact, no, 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 no. No, no, no. 12 a.m. 12 a.m. Right next to right now, bro. 12 a.m. is my shit. And y'all know I love that verse. Where's that verse? Check me, riding in the motherfucking ride. This shit X3. Shorty trying to fuck me like she mind a color whiskey. I ain't fucked that how she pulled up with her bestie. Then she got some guap, I gotta watch for my bestie. I just got a rally saying one for my twins. We got white money, lamb truck, Richie Rich. Skirt off in New York, MSG, Jeremy Lynn. With some white hoes, snoring white, Lindsay Lynn. I done ran up cash money, now that little hoe think she nicky. That's my. Bro, I tell you, it's so hard, bro. I don't care what none of y'all say. So different. God, 12 a.m. is that song, bro. 12 a.m. is amazing. Amazing. Not peak. Amazing. See? Yeah. 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 We'll leave it We'll leave it Bankrupt is. Bankrupt has a special place in my heart. You know that? Bankrupt got that funk to it. Bankrupt got that funk to it, bro. Beautiful track. Love it, love the snippet, 
Definitely a radio hit in my opinion. So don't break it. I've been going through too much. I won't let you. Where you at a mobile now? I can meet you. Ain't no fucking way you still where I left you. Ain't no fucking way you on the edge of the cliff. But wondering if I'ma catch you. Know that you wanna watch me blow a check. And I know that you know you wanted me to wreck you. Pull up from at the club. It's 3 a.m. and I'm drunk. So I'm sorry if I disrespect you. Yes, uh, Bankrupt is a radio hit. And it's a funky beat. And I love it. With that being said, Bankrupt is a great song. It's also an amazing song. Never mind, me my mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, over friends, I don't know, cause friends hits me. That's not for no reason. We'll leave it right there. I don't know. It, it, they're both in the amazing too, so it don't really matter. It don't really matter. All right, now well, let's go to number seven. Hey, being lonely, not much needs to be said about you, but you're peak DC. I'm gonna keep it a buck. You know, you're peak DC. Not much needs to be said about you. You're peak DC. You are top of the top, top of the cream of the crop, buddy. There's not much that needs to be said about hey, being lonely. That's my shit right there, bro. Hey, being lonely is a radio hit, and I pray it's all. And then almost a million views. Yeah, I mean, uh, a million plays. Yeah, it's almost at a million, bro. Hey, hey, being lonely is one of DC's best songs he's ever made, bro. He put a lot into it. The visual was nice and everything, bro. Track number six, Shouty. Brand new type of song from DC. Love it though. And all my Love it. Hey, remember I had you and it was all Ricky on, and now you switching to Prada. I'm blowing 400 miles in my Fuji, I don't smoke weed in Nevada. Like, really, the fuck did you mean, Lashadi? I mean, this shit, I ain't trying to be famous. I just want the green Lashadi and spit the shit up with my team, Lashadi. Rolling backwards, trying to smoke to the pain, cause it ain't with a scene, Lashadi. I told my friend during the stream, I was like, he's gonna love this. Cause y'all remember too, I was like, oh my, my boy gonna love this. She Canada, how she wanna listen to I gotta listen to my nigga, bro. He gonna, he's gonna love this. Sent it to him, he like, damn, can the beat get any louder? This shit, ah, uh, ah. Uh. A few days later, I might hit me with the, yeah, yeah. And I knew he was gonna rock with it. And I rock with it too. Shawty is, he's it amazing. That beat drop is nice. We're gonna put it in great for now, but we're gonna put it up here in great. It's better than intuition. Yeah. Yeah, we'll put it at the top of the grate. And if I feel a different type of way, we'll move it later. Track number five, Urgent. Urgent is a nice little funky, you know, some such you can drive in the car fast too. You know, smooth. Urgent smooth. I don't really feel too too crazy about it, but let's 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 play. Trying to tell me I should never worry, worry. She only calling my phone at the night time if it's urge, urge, yeah. I got my shades on cause I'm flashing lights, made me nervous. It's and I swear to God, we've been worried. She feeling too real, start hurt, hurt. That's hard to let's go. I've been driving too fast, urge, yeah. Icky those sticks in the minivan, how we got racks in this bitch. They keep on trying to take pictures, I'm getting the racks in this bitch. Bullets, see, I get stay on my toes and be on my mask, little bitch. This shit making me feel like I'm paraplegic, I'm down on my last, little bitch. Feel too crazy about it at times, but times when you know when it just comes on, I just play it, or if it's playing in order of the album, I like it. You know, I like it. Urgent is a good song. I think the only thing that's like just dumbing it down for me, he keeps the same flow the whole time. There's no like you know crazy beat drop or nothing. You know, it's no crazy like you know, it's one of the first five tracks in the album. So you know, I expected them to come harder with it, but also it is a good little good little song to keep things mellow, keep things, keep things smooth. Track number four. DC has a, he's a motherfucker with these songs. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. This is this right here. Track number four. I hate the new. You see, it's crazy because on Sacred Heart, I was going stupid to all them songs. I was, the energy was so high. Right here, I'm just like, you hidden, DC? Like, damn. You know, Too much time on that. 
Hate the new you is definitely peak DC, I believe. Hate the new you is definitely superior peak DC, bro. It's beautiful. It's the reason why it's doing so well, numbers wise, uh, amongst the rest, and it deserves it. It's a beautiful song, bro, and it's a song I drive late at night to, swerving down the freeway. You know what I'm saying? And it gets you thinking, uh, and not just about like the actual song. It's just like it just, bro, it just gets you just sitting back in your thoughts. You can just play that shit and just ride out, not even know that you're driving, unconsciously driving. You know? Now. On to track number three, my favorite song on the album, and the one that has resonated with me the most. Track number three, Story of My Freaking Life. I love this song. This I'm true. She said when you go out of town, I get too hot, feel like I'm losing it. Told my girl if she gon' leave, she catches real clip. So when I'm out of town, just hold me down. I'm holding back, I want you now, 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 now. Uh, 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 uh. I'm holding back, I want you to know the page, I'm on the same road. No more holding back, I may not put it there. Uh, 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 uh. I don't know where I want to put it. Um, it's an amazing song. It is a beautiful song. Uh, to me, it's like if Seven Nights and Poison had a baby. Yeah, I know Seven Nights is my favorite DC song. <laughs> Track number two is my shit. Love this. This is a radio hit. I, I just, bro, there's so many radio hits on this album that I just want to just prosper and pop on the radio. Hey, now we're on the radio. Oh, we got a brand new track, brand new artist. Hey, number DC the Dawn. Love. Give it a listen. Here we go. Woo -woo. <laughs> I got enough to do So I can pull up on you in a month or two Hey, and I know it's uncomfortable Just a little understanding that I want for you Bro, bro, I'm telling y'all, bro This is a, this is a radio This is a radio hit Such a fun song, bro Such a fun song That is a great song Might be an amazing song I think it's an amazing song We'll leave love there We'll leave love there <sighs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, what an intro, bro. I mean, that's that's quite the intro compared to all the rest. Of SRT live from the good. That's quite the intro, and it fits the album perfectly. I just get this feeling, like this sense of like. Bro, I, I done made it. I'm, you know, I'm on my way. I'm making it. I, like, I just feel like I'm floating. That just, bro, this, this, I love this track. It is amazing. Not peak DC, but it's amazing. It's an amazing intro. Makes me feel like I'm the man. Makes me feel like I'm doing something right in life. Let me rearrange this to list just so I know for sure what I want to do with it. All right. Uh, yeah, I think we're good right here. It's all 16 tracks. Yeah, I mean, this is all 16 tracks from Funeral, the album. This is my tier list in peak tier. We got Hate Me Lonely and Hate the New U, two songs with the word hate in it, but they're peak. Amazing. We got 12 a.m. Story of My Life, Funeral Love, Used to Be Me, Bankrupt and Friends. In the great tier, we got Shouty, Fight or Flight, You Forgot About Me, Intuition, Working on Dying and Going Stuck. And in the good tier, we got Urgent. Now, uh, just for the bonus, just for the bonus, because uh, I just want to. Just put that right there. All right, if you guys know, you know. I'm not gonna say too much about those tracks, but yeah. So this is my tier list right here. Now, overall, Funeral is a good album. It's a, it's really a great album. Yeah, overall, Funeral is an amazing. Album. Better than My Worst Enemy? Not sure if it's there yet. Not sure if it's there, but we'll let it sit. We'll give it about. You know, check back with me six months down the line. See how I feel. Let's see which one I come back to most and resonate with. But My Own Worst Enemy did amazing for me and. It's it's hard to top a 22 track album where you just effortlessly going flow for flow, switching up flows. You got the first half hard, second half melodic. But you know, with this album, you just got straight melodic stuff and that's okay. And I think he did a great job with this. I think he definitely took it to another level, more professional work. The production is beautiful, top to bottom. 
from the songs to the visuals. Shout out DC. If you guys want to do your own tier list, I will hit the link in the description for you guys. I'll put the link down there. Make sure you guys go back and check out all the funeral reactions if you have not. Make sure you guys go check out the Sior interview because Sior produced seven of these 16 songs. Yeah, we'll leave it at that right there. Yeah, hopefully this album has the legs to last throughout the whole year and I hope this album really takes off. Really want it to take off. I just want this album to do very well. He works so hard in this, it's amazing. I really want this album to take off and do numbers. So hopefully it has the legs to do that. And, uh, but uh, that's it for me. Make sure you guys like, subscribe. Y'all have a good rest of your day. Deuces.